what if we connect the brain to a computer? The future has come, my friends. All these things seemed simply unthinkable just a short time ago. Now we talk about controlling computers by the power of thought, renewing consciousness, bionic extremities, and video games that are tailored specifically to each individual. Previously, if you happen to casually mention one of these strange things during a conversation, at best you would have been considered a fool. And at worst, you would have ended up in a psychiatric hospital. The world has changed. The 21st century has come. Perhaps the greatest visionary of our time, Elon Musk, has declared his plans to merge the human brain with a computer. In other words, to make all of the above a reality. Elon Musk presented to the public his new project, Neuralink, in March of this year and gave the world hope for a future which at present we see only in Hollywood films. What is this fantastic idea and what will be the consequences? How will the world change after Elon realizes his grandiose plans? Mr. Musk, known for his ambitious projects, has announced his latest attempt to change the world. This time, he's not going into the depths of space, but into the depths of the human brain. By using Neuralink's neurocomputer interface, we can become cyborgs. A grid of electrodes introduced into the brain, also known as a neural lace, will open up a new era in the history of mankind, or so the experts promise. We can talk another time about both the pros and cons of this latest endeavor. But for now, let's try to present just the amazing possibilities. Musk expects that such devices will help mankind avoid submission and surrender to artificial intelligence. If we consider the human body as a device capable of inputting, processing, and outputting information, it turns out that the weakest link is speed. As Mr. Musk said, our input of information is much better because we have a high-speed visual interface connected to the brain. Our eyes take in a large amount of data. But in our case, input and output differ by several orders of magnitude. Output is slow and cumbersome. As Musk relates, effective integration of the brain and digital intelligence into a symbiotic system will eliminate many of the limitations associated with input-output by creating a kind of interface for direct access to the cerebral cortex. The neural interface must simultaneously work with all of the brain's neurons. Some less invasive techniques for accomplishing this are being considered. As Musk says, as they are actively supplied with blood, veins and arteries provide direct access to all of the brain's neurons. Still, we shouldn't expect them to do an expensive, complex, and dangerous operation for every Joe Blow who walks through the door wanting to acquire a neural lace. Applications are targeted and specific. One of the more promising ideas on which the company is working is that of miniature chips which are injected into the artery in the neck and enter the brain with the flow of blood. This less invasive interface offers less speed. Last year's record was set by a U.S.-China group of researchers, and that was from 4.4 to 5.5 bits per second. In this case, text was typed by thought, and the speed of text being displayed on screen was about one symbol per second. Miniature chips that will help people who have suffered a stroke or trauma or who have congenital diseases should begin appearing in about four years. These implants and interfaces will make it easier to cope with disabilities such as Parkinson's disease, mental illness, pain, and vision problems. These devices will help to restore motor functions and memory, and in the future will help us to exchange thoughts with their help. Development will become relatively cheap and accessible in 8 to 10 years, if, of course, the ethical and legal problems associated with these innovations are resolved. After all, the use of such a device to improve mental abilities, let alone gift us with a kind of electronic telepathy, will raise numerous questions about which due consideration has not been given, and even much less considered in a practical way. The head of the company claims that the whole direction of their effort was chosen, instead of genetics, for the sake of speed of research. As he says, genetics works too slowly. That's the whole problem. It takes 20 years for a person to become an adult. We just don't have that much time. 
Where Elon Musk and his associates are hurrying to, it is not completely clear yet. Although, of course, everyone is fairly pleased to see what he's achieved during his life so far. Interestingly, it's also likely that new developments will be useful to future Martians. Let's not forget that the same Elon Musk dreams of relocating about a million people to the Red Planet in the foreseeable future. However, let's return to our brains. A new casing. A neuronal lace added to the limbic system and the cortex will allow a person and a car to communicate directly. Why would this be necessary? Philip Alvelda, manager of Neural Engineering System Design, explains, The best modern systems of neurocomputer interfaces, NCIs, are like two supercomputers trying to communicate with each other using an old modem. Imagine what will happen when we improve our tools. So, giving mental commands without using our voices, conducting any operations on your computer remotely, all of this will become a reality. Korean scientists tried using an NCI to control bugs, and the experiments were quite successful. As Venkat Ryan, the director of Global Health Perspectives at Frost & Sullivan said, The brain is just a scheme, and if you interact with it with microelectronics, you'll be able to solve numerous problems and significantly improve the quality of life. This technology being developed will be able to initiate and control the activity of the brain. It will be possible to transfer information to any device, to the cloud, or directly to the brain of another interface user. Scientists have long tried to improve intelligence with the help of a computer, but so far they have not achieved much success. But if the brain and computer speak one language, everything will be different. The training system itself will change. It will be possible to load new knowledge and skills directly into the brain. At present, experts are using these techniques to help paralyzed people to communicate with the world. But the possible scope of this technology is much, much wider. Super legs and other limbs. Musk's offers promise breakthroughs in prosthetics. Robotic limbs could one day easily integrate into the nervous system because they could transmit messages using this two-way communication. Who knows? Maybe artificial hands will become so perfect in the future that even a healthy person might consider using such artificial manipulators. Emotions out in the open. A single language for the brain and computer means that emotions will be read as data. A computer program will adjust to a person's mood, and this person will perceive the computer not only with the help of logic, awareness will be replaced by understanding. It'll be possible to fully share one's feelings and emotions with another person, and this will open up vast new frontiers in the fields of communications and the arts. Play with your own brain. Modern computer and video games can be played several times before exhausting all the various plot twists. But soon enough, they become boring and predictable. This situation could change radically. The appearance of NCIs will force games to interact with the brain, responding to the emotions of a particular person and to foresee that user's actions. It's much easier to frighten, surprise and delight if the expectations and feelings of the player are an open book. Maybe all these possibilities won't be fulfilled by Elon Musk, but they will be developed. They promise too many new and incredible opportunities. And sooner or later, someone will realize all of these miracles. The world will change, and I think that it will change very soon.